week, there's a reminder again tonight of how dangerous our rivers can be even in the drought. KCRA 3's David Beenick tells us how two men ended up drowning in a rescue attempt today. Family members gathered behind a fence along the Sacramento River in Isleton and sobbed. <laughs> Sheriff's deputies say this is the spot where two men went into the water and drowned. I actually saw people running and screaming and get, trying to get life jackets so they could jump in the water and save them, but they were already down and under and gone. Family members of one of the men say he'd been fishing off this dock and that he was the first to go into the river. All I'm understanding is that he grabbed his chest and fell into the water, so I don't know whether he had a heart attack or or what. Family members and witnesses say other people then jumped in to try to save the man, including a stranger who also ended up drowning. Fishermen here on the dock say right about the time the men went in, the tide was going out, and at that moment, the current would have been the strongest. You can see as it cuts the dock, it swirls, it cuts, it moves, and underneath there's a current, and then under that current is called the undercurrent. And if you go down too far, it'll just take you and tumble you. you it'll suck you under like a vacuum cleaner. Deputies used sonar and found the men's bodies a short distance downstream in about 13 feet of water. As a coroner's van took away the two men's bodies, two families who've never met shared the same grief. In Ireland, David Beene, KCRA 3 News. And the family members identified one of the men as Walter C. Jones. They tell us he was 63 and lived in Sacramento.